Welcome to all. My name is Olivier Deschuter. I'm the UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food since uh, May 2008. And um, I'd like to say just a few words before taking questions. Um, in May 2008, the headlines were on the global food crisis. And the worry was then that the prices were extremely high and that a large number of people were driven into further poverty and hunger as a result. Um, at least 100 million supplementary people have been driven into, into hunger as a result of these higher prices. The international community has reacted um, in a way which was um, not particularly well coordinated and which did not particularly address the structural causes of the food crisis. What happened is we had good harvests in 2008, at the, in, in August and September 2008, as a result of which the prices went down again. And the, um, uh, the funds, the um, uh, hedge funds, which had invested quite massively in the futures markets of agricultural commodities, retreated from that sector, as a result of which the prices went down. And this meeting, which is convened by Father Miguel Descoto on the global food crisis and the right to food, arrives at this moment when many governments um, may have the impression that the food crisis has disappeared from their radars and that they have more urgent things to think about. Well, we are convinced this is not the case. We are convinced that low prices are not a solution in the long term. Low prices mean that developing countries will have fewer revenues from exports for those of them who have specialized in producing agricultural commodities. Low prices mean that the food producers have fewer incentives to produce and it is not conducive of long-term solutions. Um, the crisis is still with us uh, for a number of reasons and particularly because the structural causes of the global food crisis remain entirely present. A dependency of agriculture on volatile prices of oil, the threat of climate change, which will make prices more volatile in the future, an unfair trading system, which um, makes it extremely difficult for developing countries to develop themselves and to reap uh, uh, a fair share of the uh, uh, value of what they produce. And we have convened this uh, meeting in order to put the issue back on the agenda, in order to insist that states base their responses to the, global, to the global food crisis on the right to food, which means that it's not sufficient just to produce more for, lo for prices to go down. It's important to ensure that this increase in production benefits the most vulnerable, benefits the poorest, and that the investments we make into agriculture are targeted in order to achieve the ob objective of combating hunger and malnutrition effectively. In um, in a world such as ours, um, uh, hunger does not result from there being too little food available. Hunger is there because people do not have the purchasing power, because people are marginalized, because people are discriminated against, and this is what the right to food has to bring to the debate. And this is the issue on which we've been focusing our discussions. Thank you.